And now to the big news of the day. 80% of commercial sex workers operating at the East Legon Enclave are students. Now listen to this. Municipal Chief Executive for the Ayawaso West, Sandra Ousahinkra, who disclosed this at a media briefing in Accra, said the remaining 20% are housewives, church elders, and foreign nationals. Here's a report by Peter Kwaadato. Described as one of the oldest professions, commercial sex work continues to increase despite efforts to discourage the practice. Some unscrupulous persons even take advantage of the situation to recruit girls to work for them as sex slaves in most parts of the world. Ghana's capital, Accra, and other cities are no exception, where children as young as 10 years and even less are sometimes found in the practice. The practice is in vogue at one of Accra's plush neighborhoods. East Legon in the new Ayawaso West Municipality. According to the Municipal Chief Executive, Sandra Oswahinkra, the influx of commercial sex workers in the East Legon area poses a challenge to the administration. The security agencies, including the Immigration Service, organize swoops to arrest those engaged in this illegal business. Those arrested were screened by the police. Some were put before court and prosecuted, whilst foreigners amongst them were deported by the immigration service. Assessments by the Ayawasu West Assembly showed that 80% of those engaged in the sex work are students, the rest are housewives, church elders, and foreign nationals. It's your friend, Adam Fon, is, hey, we are No, so may you, we come so we here three days. Yes, we so on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, we are packing, we are bed that is still gone. We had married women, a bit more worried about former serene. We had a Pentecost, I don't want to go far. They had the elder from the church calling because Sunday no with them and the lady was supposed to be in church. Sandra Oswahinkra urged the media to support its efforts in raiding the area of commercial sex workers. 